Recall that the refrigeration cycle runs the air conditioning system. The residential air conditioners are used to serve the needs of smaller areas, and we use them at home. The commercial air conditioners are used in large spaces such as office buildings. Commercial systems differ from residential systems in terms of components used for air conditioning. Recall that some components seen in residential air conditioning are, compressor, condenser, metering device, evaporator, blower fans, dampers, and ductwork. Apart from these, the commercial system has additional components. The additional components used in commercial air conditioning systems are, cooling tower, pumps, air handling units, fan cycling unit, solenoid switch, and economizer. Recall that condenser is a type of heat exchanger that cools the refrigerant. In a commercial chiller system, we use a cooling tower as a heat exchanger in addition to the condenser. We also use pumps to carry water from the condenser to the cooling tower in a commercial system. We use water pumps to carry water from the condenser to the cooling tower in a commercial system. There are commercial systems that use the refrigeration cycle to provide cold water instead of cold air. Large water pumps are used in such systems to pump the water throughout the building. An air handling unit, A, H, U, is a box-type structure that contains cooling coils, fans, and filters. We use a single air handling unit to move the air throughout our home. In a commercial unit, we use more than one A, H, U. The image to the right shows A, H, U located on each floor of a commercial building. Recall that a solenoid valve is used in residential air conditioners to turn the refrigerant flow on and off. In commercial systems, we use many solenoid valves to control the higher flow rate of refrigerant in the system. Multiple solenoid valves can help provide separate cooling for different office spaces. Recall that one commercial system usually cools a complete building. However, the residents of different floors will have different temperature requirements. So the refrigerant flow is controlled by the solenoid valves to control temperatures. In a commercial system, as the cooling or heating load is high, we use an economizer. It uses the wind blowing at the top of the building to cool the air inside. This reduces electricity consumption. We will learn about how this equipment is used in commercial systems in later courses.